Wise choice for Commissioner and Captain Lou Albano. He's going to have his hands full. And one of the things he may have to intervene with is something that happened right before we went on the air today in that two of the behemoths of professional wrestling and King Kong Bundy and Yokozuna got into it on this very spot. King Kong Bundy's interview was interrupted. I want to get King Kong Bundy in here right now because there's a lot Number of it. one, I don't know what made him choose that drunken old sod Albano to be commissioner, but I don't care about that. Poor Kazuna, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Son, move in a little closer when you're interviewing me. I'm going to tell you something that hundreds and hundreds of other men have learned beaten and battered men and what they learned is this punk you dish the great bundy at your own peril you get the avalanche you're getting the five cap and you're going to be finished the words of king kong bundy they'll meet head on battle of the titanics king kong bundy yoko zuno coming up on heroes of wrestling <laughs> ladies and gentlemen our next contest is a tag team match featuring former WWF tag team champions. First off, at a combined weight of 586 pounds from Tehran, Iran, the Iron Sheik. And his partner, who is accompanied to the ring by Nikita Bresnikov from Moscow, Russia. Please welcome Nikolai Volkov. Man, let me tell you something. At this point of his career, the Iron Sheik was in bad, bad shape. He could barely walk. His knees were shot. Fans, you could see it here on the tape. I was supposed to be a part of this Heroes of Wrestling tour all over the country. And at that point in my career is when I turned down this contract and I chose to walk away from this traveling sideshow of legends. Let that marinate. Let that sink in. I actually feel bad for the Sheik well, the in this Iron matchup. Sheik, I'm going to tell you, I've seen him beat guys up to the camels come home. We see, we see right now, accompanying the Iron Sheik and Nikolai Volkov, Nikita Bresnikov. Is that Bresnikov? Yeah, it's Bresnikov. Bresnikov. That's the new manager. Fans drop an the elbow on that Union. like button. Shout out to the OTS Tribal Queen and my brother from another mother, Austin Nance. Classic pay-per-view wrestling here on Guardian of Chaos, the YouTube channel. Well, this is the Iron Curtain Country. Let's hear from the Iron Sheik. USA Hot Did he just say hot too? Isn't that going around on social media? What's going on here? It's, it's, it's chaos. Silence, you Show some respect. I know you're Americans, but try and show a little respect for you, please. My old friend Nikita Brezhnikov. Listen, you have two Olympic champions in the ring. These are true heroes of wrestling. Now watch. I and Sheik will do Iranian club demonstrations. Pay attention. I think they ask everybody to stand. Oh, he's doing the Russian National Anthem. For the Russian National Anthem. And the people here at Casino Magic Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, I don't think they much appreciate this. You see the fans all around, even us, Randy, around here standing on their feet telling them to go back home. I thought the Cold War was over. It's very much alive well, here. These fans do not like it. Well, in 2024, we're about headed for addiction. World War Three. Not at all. Look at what former the Bushwhackers waiting to enter. Only man in the world could do this. Watch. Wait a minute, I think we're going to be treated to a little demonstration here. I just here. want to people respect Russia, respect Iran, and you shut up. Don't say USA, USA. Ha! Oh. He's spitting into the microphone. You know, he doesn't like he that. He spat on it. At all. Yeah. Like, no offense, well, man. Yeah, Kate Bates, what I say? Himself to everybody the hot tool man. girl. In she attendance. said it. You can see he's talking it up. Oh, there's two good looking ladies here. They're showing USA. They don't like Nikolai, uh, I mean, uh, Nikita Brezhnikov. They don't like Nikolai Volkov. They don't like the, look like the, they like the Iron Sheik. And I think the people are actually being a little bit rude here. Said, so shut your mouth. A very volatile situation. 
Oh, it looks like the Iron Sheik is ready to go tonight. He looks like he's pumped. Wait a minute. What's he got there, too? He's going to use those in the match, is he? Well, what does that look like? I don't know if he's going to use them in the match. How do I know? Am he I could tonight? tonight. Well, he could, but how do I know whether he's going to use them or not? I'm asking you for your expert analysis. Well, no, you're actually asking me to be like a, 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 a psychic again. All right, oh, that does, Sheik that still had strength. that upper body strength. That. It's not no, the no, traditional clubs right. that he did. He's still got it, Sheik. Although he can barely he move in the ring, and you're going to see it during this match. Take out your man. notebooks. Not only exercise his body, exercise his uh, First Amendment rights, too. Let's say what he wants to say. And he has that right of the United States. Hulk Hogan or Bob Bakker, you shut up. Get the fuck out of here. Now, Hulk Hogan is the Iron Sheik. 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 Again, he spits into the That's microphone. the third, huh? Two by Iron Sheik. And then the chant goes Get out of here USA. now. Well, I'll say one thing here at Casino Magic. Ladies and gentlemen, Mississippi, the they're, crowd, they're on their feet. Combined weight. Sounds like we're the Centennial Olympics in Atlanta, pounds. Georgia, but we're in Bay from City. New Zealand, Luke and Butch, the men from down under. Here come the Just think Zeno how much money and publicity and 15 Luke minutes of fame the hot two girl guy He's better from, uh, you guys Zealand. know what i'm talking Luke about don't you Luke and Luke. <laughs> right. You're right. no thanks don't ever ever put me in the category with these guys here never 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 that's a real no, bad thing to do bad, that no, no. i know you didn't but you, know, you may have bunch. something like uh you know you may have something like a peripheral meaning that you know that oh, look at that what is that? That's Chris disease. That's Chris disease. What if he had a cold? I kept going. He laid up for three days, pumping full of you know, antibiotics, you know, and he won't know where it comes from. But this guy right here. You know, when you kiss kangaroos and koala bears all your life, you know. Wait a minute. That's Bush. Here they go. Luke and Bush, the Bushwhackers, two guys who actually, you know, they don't have the sense God promised to fill them. Oh, I thought he was going to kiss him on the lips. Wait a minute, maybe his, uh... Well, this is there, his signature march with the arms raised. Now, what would you do if one of these guys come and wanted to kiss you? What would you do? I'd run. Wait, here he comes, here he comes, look out, look out. He's not going to kiss me. You they were a much that. better tag team when they were the sheep herders. Barbaric. Walking around Tough. The ring, down under, you know, they think they're like Outback Steakhouse or something. But I, I guess they made the twice the money as the Lincoln sheep Saturday herders with Vince in the WWE. Beer, you know, going out and, go out and you know, Google. No, no, don't go Google it. Right Use DuckDuckGo. The, Duck Duck the sheep herders were vicious. Countries, uh, Luke and Butch are very good. And they're also very good at getting the crowd excited. You like that move with the raising of the arms? One of the biggest like tag team well, heel-to-face really changes if you ever. Me. Ah, see, that's good. That's good. See, you can't dance around that ring all night long. You can't dance around, you know. Because these guys, this Iron Sheik, this Nikolai Volkov, they're all business. They really want to come after you. They want to bring the battle to you. And you better be able to bring the battle back or you're going to end up on the short end of the stick. You know what the short end of the stick is? Right? I understand. It's that like a one, two, three. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah. If the stick started at one and then went to two and three, and the three being the short end, you'd end up on the short end of the stick. Right? All four right. men, obviously, well a past their uh, 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 the prime of their career. Heroes of wrestling here on pay per view. Nikolai Volkov out there. I want to think this was in oh, they got, uh, 2004, gets, maybe uh, even 2006 like or 2007. Somewhere thereabouts. I, I gotta get my notes. He's getting trouble right now. He's getting pushed around. Nine Wait a minute. Tags, and they're both in. Definitely over 20 <laughs> years ago. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They got Bresnikov good, too. They're all down. Now look at, look at those bushwhackers stomping away, still doing the dance. Luke and Butch, they're the fan favorites. And I apologize for the, the camera angle. This is an old VHS tape. They're chanting USA. I like to slap the shit out of well, the cameraman. The, the men from down under from New Zealand are chanting USA. Well, I don't, I don't think that's quite necessary. I think the fans here in uh, 
Casino Magic tonight at the Heroes of Wrestling. I think they should just like uh, sort of leave these guys alone for a while. The perfect name but, for know, this hey, uh, tour they they want, that took off and in this in particular pay-per-view, the Heroes of Wrestling, because most of these men were heroes, legends. But this was rated one of the worst pay-per-views in the history of pro wrestling. Uh, just to let you know the background of the story here. Wait a minute, I think the Sheik has instructed... He, he said if, if you guys see saying USA, USA, he's going to be gone. I didn't pick up what he said Okay, there. the Sheik, well listen. See, I speak Iranian. I, I speak Farsi, which is the native tongue in Iran. He said it in English, though. But it's so broken up. But what he said was, if the fans don't stop yelling USA or USA, he was going to retire. They're walking out. Well, that's what I'm telling you. So if they didn't shut up, they were going to leave. They got their feelings hurt and they're going to leave. You have to be competitive. Randy Rosenblum, I was talking. I was in the middle of a sentence and you stepped all over me. You're very rude. Now, if you just to listen, five seconds more, I'd have finished that. All right, Dutch, go ahead. Okay, well, I've already said it now. I've already said it. Okay, look, the, the, these people here in Mississippi, they can count. They surprise me. They can count to eight. Good. Okay, now we see Luke squared off with Nikolai Volkov. Headlock by Volkov, a punch. Luke down in the corner. And Volkov and fans, let me tell you, just looking you, to squeeze him on the neck. Look how big Volkov is. Volkov is huge. He's a big man. Very big. This is a, you know, and he's on If any fans tuned in late, this is an historical night in professional wrestling. Look the heroes of wrestling. Out. Everybody who was anybody at one time in professional wrestling, not only were heroes then, they're heroes still today. That's why, and that's the concept of this pay-per-view. Kicking him right on top of the head. Dutch, good way Volkov. to break it down, Dutch Mantel. And again, the crowd with the USA. Let's see if Volkov leaves the squared circle. Over 2,000 fans in attendance in a, right into the in a barn in Mississippi. That's called a low bridge, Randy. He low bridge. He need him down under. He need him down under. That's pretty good. That's you know that's the, that's the best line you come up with tonight. Need him down under. Okay, now the Sheikhan doing a little double team on. I also heard partner. some of the legendary talent was a, a little umbriaga uh, half in the bag backstage. Over here, spending a lot of a lot of time. I'll with, let you uh, figure it out. In the corner. Meanwhile, Adam, that's why you come pole. here to learn things, cheek, history, classic, facts. European, mid-European polls. The Iran cheek, of course, no other time. channel Let's breaks it down she like this channel. Nobody works down. harder for you that's than I do. Two. Well, there's a lot of things that happen in wrestling that shouldn't happen, but unfortunately, they do happen. That's why we go out there, and that's why we play the game. Lucas let me, let me stop uh, over talking over Volkov Dirty Dutch Mantel. Way. A Rosenbaum is a clown. A sellout crowd here tonight at the Casino Magic. Off the ropes. How many people you say here tonight? 2,500, 3,000? 2,500. Well, there's two capacity fans. Look at that. Panoramic view. Not a bad crowd Casino for an Magic independent pro wrestling show. The Louis, backbone of this industry. I say it on every tape. WWF champion. Walking around the ring now, knowing where that the he superstars has the, start he has Luke and the trouble. heroes come he back. Go for a pin, I would and this Wouldn't is a Randy perfect has example. Bay right now, the Iron Curtain tandem. A kick right to the to the middle of the chest with the loop by the Iron Sheik. Fans are yelling, "Russia sucks!" At this point, Nikolai Volkov wants a. Uh, Again, fans, I apologize for the quality of the Kino videotape. What a Remember the time frame. Was. We were here in the time machine. And they're, the fans keeping up the chant, Russia sucks. Wait a minute. Get him out of the ring. Right from Get the back side. The that was illegal. Wait a minute. Brezhnikov is up now. Brezhnikov. I don't know what good he's going to do up there, but he's on a, the edge of the ring. I'm taking him back in the corner. He takes the ride. <laughs> the sheep just in the corner, spitting, spitting profusely. He looks like he's spitting. He's spitting on the fans at ringside. He's going to slam Luke. Oh, oh he's taking down. See if he can get him back up. He's playing with him. He's got that bear hug. He's it's not a me. bear hug, Rosenbaum, you slam. fool. One, two. I don't know where they picked this uh, uh, 
play-by-play -play guy up, Rosenbaum, Rosenbloom, whatever the fuck his name is. Let Dutch talk. I'll do it with you, Dutch. Volkov. You see, never, nobody said that the Bushwhackers were the most intelligent. Barry Rosenblum, see, Rosenbaum, Rosenbaum, Lip Baum. I don't know what his name is, but he's and terrible. Curtain is working over Luke. And again, the crowd. But he's got him in that camel clutch right now. Which is a pretty good cheerleader. And when he's pulling him back, he can't breathe, and he, he, he's got him almost subdued in that. He had to have a save. He had to have an assist from Bush back in the corner. A tag to Volkov. I hope Camera the work saw is it. terrible. And I don't know if he saw it or not, but I, I think he's going to let it I'm go. I'm just saying. No and offense. And back to one of the Bushwhackers. Volkov having his way. Look at that big 15 or 16 shoe that Volkov wears stomping on, uh, away on one of the Bushwhackers. Wait a minute. Both men down now. He needs to make that tag and see if he can make the tag. Can he get over there? And he has the tag. Butch is back in. And he's hammering away. Showing great speed with those uh, shots. He has them both under control. And headbutts him. And there goes Bresnikov. And the men from down under have taken control. The match is getting a little sloppy. Breaking down. Right Let's see if they can finish him off, though. Let's see if they can finish him off. Both men down. Yes, All four legends uh, pretty damn near the well the past their uh, prime. Give them credit. Back. Well, I sort of like it myself. Wait a minute. It's a tough it's life. Like a it's a tough business. It's a tough like industry. At this stage. Consistently sacrificing your body. Wait a minute. You got to make a something. payday. Oh, he gave him object. There is a foreign object. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That took down his partner from the Iron Curtain. One, two, three. It's over. There it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. timing. Blown assignment, Volkov and the Iron Sheik. And they blow the match, and the men from down under celebrate. Well, they're hugging everybody here in the Casino Magic Bay, St. Louis, Mississippi. Going all around the ring, giving everybody a big Australian hug, New Zealand hug. The men from down under, he's right in front of our broadcast booth right now. They're not even called the going. Bushwhackers or the Sheep Herders. They're calling them the men from down under. You can't make it up. Fans, don't go anywhere. I got more classic footage coming right back. USA, they know where the camera is. Right in the camera.